Welcome to a windy, hot Maasai Mara. And you saw a reclining male lion underneath that bush. Now, my name is Brent Theo Smith. I have Dangerous Dave on camera. Now, that male lion is something special because he's one of the most famous male lions in the world. His name is Scar. And at the moment, he's snoozing where we can't get too close to him, unfortunately. But you can see there's a big herd of buffalo behind him. So who knows? Maybe he'll head out hunting a little bit later. Now, he is part of a coalition of four male lions that are known as the Musketeers. And they dominate an area around the main wildebeest migration points uh, where they cross the Mara River. And um, let me see if I can remember all their names now. There's Scar, Siku, Morani, and Hunter. I think I got them all. There we go. So great to catch up with one of the most famous lions in the world. Uh, even though he is being not so photogenic at the moment. <laughs> he looks very comfortable though, I'll give him that. Uh, a very comfortable male lion snoozing next to a little gardenia tree. And uh, you can see there's a big sort of Enselberg behind him. And here we go. Now, I'm not 100% sure of all the prides he dominates over at the moment. And there's definitely the Paradise Pride, who I've seen him with before, but we also think he might be uh, in charge of the Mogoro Pride. Although the lion dynamics in this area are constantly in flux at the moment, and there are six young males that have arrived from uh, the further to the south, and uh, there are four big boys a little bit further to the north from here. So it's difficult to say who's actually in charge and how long they're going to be in charge for. But on the other side of the river, Sky is definitely the big boss at the Paradise Pride. Now, normally, uh, from what I know, we see the Mogoro Pride in this area, but I haven't seen a Mogoro Lioness for a while now. But the North Clan of Hyenas has been very, very busy here, so that could have been keeping them away. The Mogoro Pride, I've only ever seen three Lionesses together. Not to say that there aren't more, but there have been, uh, the North Clan of Hyenas is over 80 Hyenas, so they can quite successfully chase off a couple of lionesses. Now, of course, they're not, Old Scar is not the only thing out here. And the, one of the most amazing things about the Maasai Mara is the amount of wildlife that's around us. And now we're going to have a look off to this area and uh, We'll head back towards the lion shortly, but there we've got oh some Thompson's gazelles with a little bit of a heat haze, uh, and there's also a single topi, I think, a little bit to the right. Here we go. Isn't that stunning? Look at the skies out here today, um, and it is wonderful. Remember, there are other vehicles out on the safari here, and we are 100% live coming to you from Kenya's Maasai Mara. So there we go. There's a topi. Hello, Topi. Oh, funny looking animals. They sleep in the most ridiculous manner, uh, with either their nose flat on the ground like a, like a dog, or with their nose sticking straight into the ground, looking quite sheepish. Now, the Thompson's gazelles should be giving birth at some point quite soon, so we'll be keeping a close eye on them. Now, apparently the, the olive baboons here have a, a real liking for baby Thompson's gazelles and take advantage of a uh, the birthing season. Now of course they're not the only ones that are going to take advantage. There's going to be uh, lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas will all take advantage of any little Thompson's gazelles that wander too far away from mom. Oh, is that a secretary bird there in the distance, Dave? So go off to the right. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, sorry, let me just try to get my monitor, monitor in the shade. Sorry guys, give us one second. Um, where was it striding? Um, there, a little bit to the left, center frame. Here we go. Sorry, oopsie, that was my fault. Uh, we're right at the end of the lens there. Now that is a secretary bird in the distance. Now incredible predator themselves. Uh, they are incredibly good at, at killing snakes. And those long legs, uh, they'll use them to kick snakes to death as they go through the long grass. Now, here we go. We'll, we'll go have a little bumble around, see what else is around this area. But before we do that, we can go back to that beautiful big male lion, uh, Scar. Because uh, Barbara is asking, how long have the musketeers 
been in charge. Well, Barbara, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I, I think it's about four or five years, but they've actually moved from the area that they were in charge of around the Marsh Pride and, and, and then Gama Pride, and they were pushed by those young males and have moved into this area around the Paradise Pride. Uh, but it's it's still going to take us a while to learn the the comings and goings and, and and history of all these lions. I will be meeting with some of the experts in the next coming weeks, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a better understanding. Now Janet's wondering why is Scar so famous? Well, Janet is just one of the most photographic or photogenic, sorry, a horrible English yes, Smith, photogenic lions out there. Um, he's got a massive scar over his eye, and he's been pretty well documented by most people coming into the Mara. He was also uh, on a TV show for quite a while. That's where he really got his fame. So that's probably why he's one of the most famous lions in the world. Sorry about the bumps. That's me moving around, and we are, say, so he is quite far off the road, and uh, we can't go any closer to him 